Since the day I moved to the Fraser Valley over six years ago, I have always been fascinated by the beauty of the surrounding landscape. But one prominent peak pins me in awe every time I set my eyes on her. Such majestic grandeur dominates the eastern Fraser Valley, visible throughout the lower mainland on clear days. I dreamed of standing at the summit of this towering pyramid. But somehow, life was always in the way. It took me years to shift my mindset and take control of what I now call my life. Today, I hike up Mount Chim with family and friends so that they too may experience the exhilarating feeling of being on top of the world, at least around these parts. Tomorrow, Sunday, uh, we're going. We're going uh, to fly. So we gotta be. Um, I'm thinking that we need to be there at the trailhead by seven. 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 Okay, we should be three quarters of the way now, and anytime soon we will reach that very bad, huge washout. This wasn't as bad before and this is not the one I'm talking about. This is a new one So our first attempt is a fail obviously I Used to be able to do it going to the very side but now it's just really bad. I keep, I kept trying other ways. And you can see the jeeps really tipping from side to side. It's just too deep. Too deep. Yeah. I uh, know, we'll just keep trying. One more time. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, man. Okay, okay, Josh is showing me the way. Cause he can see, he can see more from the outside because we're going uphill, I cannot see over the hood. Now we have to try this far left side of the road and hopefully, yes, yes. We're getting there. Okay, we got it, we got it. Thank God.
are almost at the peak. You can see, but I don't think we can fly the drone because these guys are having fun. Look at those paragliders. Oh, I'm still catching my breath. Unless, unless they clear the sky sooner, might be able to fly the drone. Well, we already flew a couple times earlier and we got some very cool footage. So I should make it to the edit and we'll see. We'll see how the day will turn out. After two hours of waiting, thankfully the paragliders clear the skies because I don't want to leave without taking a drone shot at the summit. And when we finally got up there, we made a lot of friends. Although we cannot remember each other's names, but the experience we shared up there was spectacular. There's a young guy in this group who's new to drones and they're very curious about the difference between a manual orbit shot and an automated orbit shot. So I guess I have to show them. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video and you think we deserve a thumbs up, please click that like button. Consider subscribing and share this video with your friends. I guess we'll just have to end the video with the drone following Joshua on our way down. <laughs>